Well, new data shows almost 100,000 children nationwide have tested positive for COVID-19 in a recent two-week span. Fox News 4's Carissa Bustamante tells the story of a Northwest Arkansas mother who says six of her kids beat the virus. I just thank God that none of my kids ended up on a ventilator because it could have happened. A mother of six, Sandra Loetta, found herself watching her kids get sick one by one, including her newborn baby. One day, my two-year-old starts getting fever. And after the third day, I was like, something is wrong. Her kids had headaches, body aches, and one even lost their sense of smell. Each day, a new symptom came in, and it was just scary. It was scary because there's nothing that you can do for them. I couldn't do anything for her. And then it was confirmed. We got our results back and everyone in my household tested positive except myself. Loetta is just one of many parents whose children caught the virus. In Arkansas, more than 6,000 children under 18 have tested positive for COVID-19, making up about 12% of all cases in the state. It is significantly more than, say, the first two months of uh, the pandemic. Joel Tumlinson with the Arkansas Department of Health says the number of kids contracting COVID-19 in the state is rising. This lines up with the new report from the American Academy of Pediatrics. But in Tuesday's press conference, Dr. Jose Romero said the opposite. Our analysis from yesterday doesn't support that we're seeing an increase in this. We then asked Governor Asa Hutchinson if he would consider changing the start date for school. He says based on Dr. Romero's response. The plans that uh, to open school uh, uh, you know, in two weeks is uh, still the, the target for Arkansas. Tomlinson says if you're sending your child to school, mask them up, even if they're under 10. The advice to schools is the recommendation is every kid should wear a mask, K through 12. After seeing firsthand how the virus can affect kids, Loetta begs other parents to take this pandemic seriously. At the end of the day, whether you want to believe that your children can catch it or not, what you need to know is that there is still a possibility. And if you're willing to expose your child because you think it's never going to happen, then I, I will have them in my prayers. In Bentonville, Clarissa Bustamante, Fox 24 News.